So here's my new Kite Cam Rig with the GoPro Hero 3 camera. I have it on the back of a Prism E3 Stunt Kite. And with the Hero 3 you can get what's called the frame. It's 40 bucks. It comes with another one that's wider that would fit with a backpack on the camera. It also comes with a lens cap. But with this frame you can make a really simple, really light rig. And it starts with this mounting post here. It comes with the camera. There's a short one and a long one. You take the long one you drill out the bottom until it slides up your spine. And for a P200 tube, which is what I have here, a 932nd bit works pretty well. You have to drill it out really loosely. You just go back and forth a bunch of times. Keep checking it to the spine until it slides up nice and snug. And then we want to change out this mounting screw. Just because it weighs so much, it's over 11 grams. So we take a number 10 nylon screw, a half inch bushing, a little gasket, like a 3-4 millimeter section. Cut off the tip of a standout connector will work. That's what I have here. And then an end nut, and that's, it's like a buck fifty or two bucks at the hardware store. And that's uh, like 2.3 grams, so that saves us a lot of weight. And then I have about five and a half inches from the tail to the mounting post, but um, it'll depend on your kite. The higher up you can get it, the better the kite will fly, the less it'll go into this pitchy wobble like this. Um, but if you get it up too high, then the kite will get into the frame of the shot here. So you just have to experiment with that. And then this angle for me, the camera spine angle is about 111 degrees. But that'll depend on your kite too. You just have to play around with that. But when you get the angle to where you like it, you can just put a scratch straight across here. And then you can just line up that scratch line every time to get your angle back. And then we have the stabilizing rod here. And that's a 1.8 millimeter rod. It's available at goodwinds.com for a four foot section is 360 plus shipping. And it's about 17 and a half inches, I think, but that'll depend on your kite too. And I just have some end caps on the end, some thread protectors at the hardware store. These orange ones are the smallest and I just super glue them onto the end. And then I have a little bit of uh, sticky back Velcro industrial strength that I cut a little section off to for just an added stop to keep this from popping out. I don't know if it's necessary or not, but can't really hurt and it's just rubber banded around the frame and that's it it's a very simple very light rig it flies really well it's about two ounces less than my old rig so it does this wobble a lot less and and you can fly it in a lot lighter wind which is great and um, it works beautifully so I uh, hope you try it out